So what happens now? Well, the Senate returns to Capitol Hill next Tuesday, January 19th, the day before the inauguration. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell released a statement late this afternoon saying the Senate in no way could reach a verdict until after Joe Biden is sworn in. Eyewitness News' Katie Forquet spoke to people in the tri-state about this ongoing situation. Katie, what are people telling you? Brad, I talked to some people here who say their understanding of the punishment that comes with last week's chaos, but views seem to differ in terms of the impeachment. It was a week ago when chaos struck our nation's capital. I see that they wanted to get that out there. They wanted to be heard, but you can be heard when you are silent protesting. I don't think there should have been any violence. That chaos has led to the House charging Trump with incitement of insurrection. Trump is now impeached for the second time. The situation moves to the Senate now, but people here in the tri-state are divided on how they feel about the impeachment. Some say it's clear he needs to be impeached and removed from office. Those who don't know are probably his supporters, but everyone on the other side, it's pretty obvious what he's done to, I mean, this country, it's not good, so. There's a lot of reasons, I'm not gonna list them, but he definitely does need to be impeached. Others don't think an impeachment does anything with what little time he has left in office. He, it's so close already for him to be getting out anyways. I feel like they're wasting time when they could be helping other situations. And some see this as a chance to prevent anything else from happening and focus on. What I think is going on, to be honest, is the congressional Democrats are not really doing this because of the riot or the insurrection. They're doing it so he can never run again. And if they convict him, he will never be able to run again. Eliminating any power he may have remaining. And the Senate is not expected to begin the trial or any possible punishment until next week. For now, reporting live in Evansville, Katie Forcade, Eyewitness News.